discover solutions to issues that affect your family and professional life with practical information to help you get past life's adversities. Take a proactive approach to power up your life with Rosalie's expert resources. A new baby is one of the greatest joys for new parents. But adjusting to life with your new baby can be stressful when triggered by a crying baby and lots of lack of sleep. According to an online survey by Harris Interactive, 75% of American moms plan to return to work post baby and 42% of moms attribute their stress to feeding their baby. Joining us this morning to ease the transition of being a new mom is author and mom of three, Tammy Gold. Good morning, Tammy. Good morning, thank you for having me. Tammy, as a seasoned parent, what tips can you offer as a balancing act to ease lifestyle transition and stress? It's a huge transition and the best way to balance that is to kind of dial down the decisions and dial down the stress. Um, parents, especially mothers, put so much pressure on themselves from what their moms say or their families say or what the doctors say. Um, and one of the biggest areas is feeding, starting with, if I don't breastfeed, I'm gonna hurt my baby. And the best way to transition into this new world is kind of make your own rules. I'm gonna try to breastfeed, that's what I'm gonna say to myself, but if it doesn't work, I'm gonna formula feed, and I'm gonna be okay. You're all not, there's so much going out new mothers that they have to really dial down the decisions that they make and the stress that they're feeling and kind of organize it all so they can transition into this new um, identity. In your new book, Secrets of the Nanny Whisper, you talk about writing things down. Why is it so important to write things down? It's critical. Um, writing things down, especially when you're feeding your baby or you're trying to understand why they're crying is, is really helpful because if something is wrong, the only way you're going to know is if you can look back and see, wow, the baby cried for three hours yesterday or the baby's been crying for three hours for the last five days. When, you know, when you're tired and you're sleep deprived, days kind of merge into one another. So you want to write down when you fed, how much they fed, um, when they sleep, when they're crying, how long they're crying and wet and dirty diapers to kind of create some order to what's happening with the baby. And then you can figure out if something's wrong, when and how and why it started. Well, my mother raised six children and I agree it was easier then, but when I had my son, he had so many medical issues and he cried day and night. In your book, you talk about not comparing one baby with another. Right, because every baby is different and there is no kind of one thing fixes everything. What you do for your baby may be, you know, that choice for yourself. You know what's best for your child. Discipline, feeding, formulas, they're all specific to your needs and there's not one that's the right choice or the best choice. The choice that you make for your child is your own best choice. Tammy, are there differences in formulas? Well, there are different formulas. If your baby has a lot of gas, you'll have a gentle formula, or if the baby has reflux, there's formula with added rice starch to thicken it up and help the acidity. But a lot of parents have the misconception that I have to get the brand name formula I got at the hospital or from the doctor, and that's simply not the case. The store brand formula, the Walmart's Parents' Choice or the Target's Up and Up, they're the exact same nutritional content that um, the brand name you're getting in the hospital, but they're 50% less. And they have the gentle and the one for reflux as well. So I tell parents to make the decision easy, save yourself over $600 a year and buy the store brand name because it's exactly the same as um, you know the Infomac or the, the Similac that you're getting from your doctor. What tips can you share with moms to help create the right balance and a happy home? You know, you just want to take whatever time you can. If you don't feel comfortable leaving your baby, maybe you have someone come in and watch the baby and you're able to take a shower or go for a walk. If you and your partner can tag team, you do one night and then he does the next night so you can take a night off and you can get some sleep. Really rely on friends and family so you can give yourself the time you need because parenting is nonstop. It never ends seven days a week, 24 hours a day. And 
emotionally you need to be in a good place because your baby needs you to be smiling and happy. Positive interactions literally help shape and grow the brain. And if you're stressed and depressed and overwhelmed, your baby's going to feel that. So it's better to have less of you at a better state than more of you in an overwhelmed, stressed state. Thanks, Tammy, for sharing all of your tips to help new moms crack the crying code. Thank you for having me. Health experts believe America is experiencing a resurgence of pertussis, commonly known as whooping cough, with more cases reported in the last 10 years than prior 40 years combined. Pertussis is a highly contagious and often serious disease, mainly in young children and infants. Here to discuss and educate families and stop the spread of this disease is Katie Van Turnhout, Family Ambassador of Sounds of Pertussis, and Dr. Siobhan Dolan from the March of Dimes. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Dr. Dolan, tell us how pertussis is developed and how it can be caught. Yeah, so pertussis is a um, bacterial infection, and so it can be caught by um, respiratory transmission. Um, and what we know is that newborns and children are most susceptible to getting serious cases of the infection because they have not received their um, vaccines yet and because their immune systems are very weak, they're newborns. So what we're seeing happen in certain cases is adults who are carrying pertussis and they may simply have a chronic cough as their symptoms are actually unfortunately transmitting this to newborns who then become very seriously ill and sadly in some cases even die. Katie, tell us about your personal experience with pertussis and how it affected your entire life. Um, yeah, we had uh, a brand new baby on Christmas Eve 2009, um, a happy, healthy little baby girl. Um, and about five weeks into her life, she got a, um, a little cough, and it was a slight cough. Um, the doctor said it would just run its course and go away. Um, two days later, it kind of got worse. It never had the whoop sound to it, but it was a, a stronger cough. Um, they put her in the hospital, and then two days later, she was gone. Um, she passed away from it. And we didn't know it was pertussis until she was gone when the test results came back two days later. Oh, I'm, uh, how terribly sad. I'm so sorry. Doctor, what are some of the signs and symptoms of pertussis? The signs and symptoms of pertussis are respiratory infections. So um, oftentimes a cough is a big part of it. And actually the classic whoop comes from the fact that you can cough so aggressively that as you're trying to breathe in, it makes a whistling sound or a whooping sound. And that's where the um, name comes from. But it's not always that severe. And sometimes, as I said, in adults, it can be just a chronic cough. Why is it so important to be vaccinated? Yeah, it's so important to get vaccinated as a preventive measure. And what's important is that the Tdap booster is for adults. Sometimes people think vaccinations are just for children or they say to themselves, oh, I got all my shots when I was a kid, I'm fine. But what we know is that the Tdap booster is recommended for adults. And so if you haven't had your Tdap booster, you should go get it today. Katie, tell us more about the Sounds of Pertussis campaign. Um, the Sounds of Pertussis campaign is raising awareness for the whooping cough um, disease, disease itself and for the Tdap booster, the importance of the Tdap booster. And if you want to learn more about it, you can go to the soundsofpertussis.com and learn more. Thanks, Katie and Dr. Dolan, for creating awareness of pertussis and how to stop the spread of this disease. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. As a mom, you need all the help you can get. And that means the most innovative smart technology and the hottest tech trends that are mom approved and budget friendly. Joining us this morning is Kat Schwartz to share some technology newly introduced at the Consumer Electronics Show. Good morning, Kat. Hi, good morning, Rosalie. Thanks for having me. So tell us how parents can take a sigh of relief when their child is sick. This is temp track. This is actually a thermometer. So when your child is sick and sleeping, you don't have to bother them to gauge their temperature. It actually works with Bluetooth technology with an app. You tell it if it reaches 101, let me know. The app will track temperature, let you know if it reaches a certain temperature. Currently pending FDA pre-market review. All right, and for those that need some help for their New Year's resolutions, what do you have? 
Another wearable technology concept. This is from TomTom. Tom. This is a TomTom Tom Sport GPS cardio watch. So with the app, with the watch, you can actually track your time, your pace, your distance. Anything new to keep the family entertained? This is from LG and they've done something fantastic. They've taken 4K technology and OLED technology. They put it in one TV to give you this superior quality. I can't even tell you how cool it looks. This one is one of the curved versions, but you're going really mainstream with LG now because they've actually given you a flat version of this technology. How about keeping our home safe when we're away? Home automation, of course, is something that allows you to remotely monitor and check and work with your home through apps, these two gadgets do that. First, this here is from Quickset and it's called Kivo. So traditionally with this Kivo concept, you can walk up to your lock and if you have your phone in your pocket, it will lock and unlock the door. Well, now they have Kivo Plus. It's an upgrade that you can get that allows you to remotely lock and unlock the deadbolt at your home. Another home automation technology that's do-it-yourself is from Kida, and it's called Remote Link. So with Remote Link, you simply plug this cube in, and then with the, the app, you can remotely monitor the fire and carbon monoxide alarms in your home, all the UL-listed remote, uh, sorry, the UL-listed fire and carbon monoxide monitors can be brought up on an app, and if they go off and you're not home, you can program it to actually call 911 or, of course, a neighbor and you don't have to be there when the alarm's going off. Makes a lot of sense. Thanks Kat for sharing your tips to keep our family and our home safe with new technology. Are you in need of a New Year's tech makeover? Just think every year mobile devices get smarter, faster, and more versatile. This means that your earphones, your watch, and even your jewelry can keep you powered up and connected to your world. Emmy Award winning TV personality, writer, tech expert, and global tech consultant, Katie Linendell joins us to help you jumpstart the new year. Happy New Year, my friend Katie. Happy New Year to you as well. So what are some of the coolest developments in wearable technology? Uh, well, wearable technology is not going anywhere. And yes, some of these devices that are out on the market, you have to see to believe. And starting with these little guys here, look like a standard pair of headphones, right? These are actually SMS Audio Biosport headphones. Now, these harness incredible Intel-powered technology because what they do is, yes, they are best in class when it comes to sound quality, but the awesome part about it is they actually track your heart rate while you're working out. This is cool because I typically wear a chest rate monitor right around me and it always is constantly falling down, but it's an integral part of my daily workout. Now the heart rate can actually be taken right from these headphones. And again, you have best in class sound quality and this pairs with the RunKeeper app, one of the most popular running apps on the market. So it'll have your distance, elevation, calories, and pace. All right, tell us about the best devices for people to use at home, at work, and on the go. Yeah, that girl on the go these days. Let's talk about smart fitness tracking devices. Another trend that we're going to see, we definitely saw in 2014, but also going to see in 2015. And looking at this right here, this is the basis peak. Now, what's interesting is this is the ultimate and comprehensive sleep and fitness tracking. It's made for wearing all day, and it'll actually pair with your Apple or your Android device. And it's the only fitness sleep tracker that automatically can detect your sleeping rhythms right down to deep sleep, to REM, to how many times you tossed and turned. The other night, I tossed and turned 26 times, and it gave me a sleep score of 43 percent. Obviously, I knew I had some work to do. I wasn't feeling that great that day. Looking back at my sleep, ah, the data's in front of my face. That's the reason why. It also tracks your heart rate throughout the day, so you can see different levels of where you're in more intense, and it'll actually track it throughout the week to show you where you can do better in your habits, where you can be better in your sleep, and where you can be better in your activity. Speaking of Intel, anything new at Intel? Oh, it's exciting with them. You know, obviously at CES, it's always like, what are they coming out with next? They're one of the showstoppers. And one of the exciting things to see is this spider dress that they had. It's actually a 3D printed dress. Imagine being able to wear a dress and then it has sensors inside it and it can feel when people are moving inside your proximity. I wish I could wear this every day. So people could stay out of my personal space bubble. But just goes to show you where technology can go. And it's just incredible with 3D printing and also sensors inside of clothing, wearable technology. It's an exciting road ahead for 2015. Thanks, Katie, for all your resourceful tech tips to guarantee a successful tech makeover. Thank you. 
Are you in need of a clothing makeover to shake up your boring style in your closet with a fashion statement that makes you feel and look confident? Well, joining us this morning to share her secret tricks of the trade for style and confidence is celebrity stylist Nagar Ali Klein. Good morning, Nagar. Good morning. Share some unique, innovative ways to shake up that old, boring wardrobe. Absolutely. There's a few tips I want to share with you this morning. And the first one is that I know it's easy for women to gravitate towards their little black dress, but I want to say that when you're thinking about what to wear for a special event, whether it's a wedding or a party or even date night, think about wearing a bold or saturated color like this. Colors like this really pop in photographs and they really complement your skin tone. So rather than wearing the same or going back, you know, falling back on a safe LBD, uh, you could shake up your wardrobe and your style by incorporating some color. Any tips to flatter a fuller figure? Well, you could do muted colors like this one. You know, you still have, uh, you know, it's a beautiful color, but I feel like jewel tone co colors um, can be a little bit more flattering. And as long as you define the waist, then you can wear it at, um, with any body shape. But the most important thing is that you choose dresses that have a defined waist so that you're creating a really flattering silhouette. A woman who wears more tailored look appears to be more confident. Absolutely, and confidence, this is something that I say all the time, is absolutely the best accessory. And a couple of things that really can make you feel confident is the carefree panty liner. I mean, this is something that um, I carry in my kit, and it's something that really makes you feel confident and fresh. Should we all have a dress rehearsal before and test out our new look? Especially for a special event. This is something that I do in all of my fittings. I take photos of my clients from every angle to make sure that they're photo ready and they're red carpet ready. But women everywhere can benefit from this exercise. You can enlist a friend for a special occasion to take photos of you from every angle to make sure that you look fabulous from every perspective. I mean, now the photos are just as important as the event itself with social media. Um, so you want to make sure that you look as fabulous as you can. Thanks, Nagar, for inspiring us with tips to add some confidence and personal style. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. According to Forbes.com and the University of Scranton Research, only 8% of people actually achieve their New Year's resolutions. Making big lifestyle changes seems like the best way to jump in, but that's where people go wrong, setting unrealistic goals up for themselves to only fail and go back to the exact behavior you vowed never to do again. Tara Wellington, wellness and lifestyle author, is here to share some real resolutions to make you healthier this new year. Good morning, Tara. Hey, Happy New Year. It's so great to see you. Share with us some attainable or real resolutions to make for 2015 so that we can have a successful and healthier year. I have four wellness goals and so the first one is for personal care products you want to look for those products that are going to improve your health and so for skin care you want to look for products that are going to improve your skin's overall health so a great product example for this would be from ASEA their Renew 28 all natural skin care gel and this will help also with um, repairing and targeting that damaged skin I love though that it is all without the harsh chemicals so that's great news. Are there any new trends for 2015 that would make it easier to achieve your New Year's resolutions? The key is to look for veggies and fruits in the ingredients, including those whole food uh, ingredients, not just the flavoring. So Soy Joy is a great example of this. It's a, uh, a gluten-free snack bar with the plant-based protein because you have your real berries and your real bananas and your real mango that you can see and taste. Also along um, that, the line of diet and exercise, you have uh, the throwback also to the old-fashioned calorie counting when you're eating 
out, that can be a challenge as well. And a great example of this is the Sonic Drive-In. They have a new line of Sonic Splash handcrafted sodas that are low in the calories. Um, they have the real fruit mixed in like your strawberries and your pineapple. Um, and they're kind of like a guilt-free smoothie but without all the calories. I have one other goal as well and it's about health technology. Care for today, Mobile Health Manager is a great example. It's free and what you do is um, you use it as a daily reminder if you need to take medications. I love this also because if you have children that are taking meds or parents, even long distance, um, this will give you a reminder and then you can encourage them to stay on track with their health and with their medications. Thanks Tara for all your tips to help us keep our real resolutions for a healthier new year. With all the bills coming in from the past holiday season buying blitz, now it's time to tighten the budget. And think about saving, and you can start right at home with your energy bill. Or take a proactive approach and invest in energy efficient appliances that are the latest in technology. Here with tech tips to cover the basics of keeping your home running efficiently is lifestyle expert Carly Noblack. Good morning, Carly. Good morning. Hi, Rosalie. Newer automobiles and appliances are an investment, and you can save money in the long run, right? I believe so, and I think, you know, the top of the year is a great time to start thinking about becoming more energy efficient. You definitely need to make an investment in some of these things like the low, you know, uh, Energy Star rated appliances and high efficiency appliances, but you are definitely going to save a lot on your energy bill in years to come. How do high tech appliances save us money and energy? Well, something like a washer and dryer, for example, it's a great time to upgrade because it's just going to help you, again, save money throughout the year. Also, a high efficiency washer has a 40% larger drum. So you're doing so much more clothes in one load than you would have in a traditional washer. Um, but it's really important when you make any investment in technology that you really know how to use it so that you get the optimal results. What home accessories can help us track our energy use? Belkin makes a product called the Insight, and it's an, uh, something that you plug into your outlet, and then anything that you plug into the Insight that you've plugged into your outlet now becomes uh, sort of metered by this device. So you can see exactly how much energy your toaster is using, or your slow cooker, or your hair dryer, or anything that you plug in, and it gives you a real window into exactly how much energy it's taking. What plug-in technology can keep us connected when we're on the go. Well, I think everybody's looking for charging devices, um, ways to you know stay charged with all your personal tech when you're running around and on the go. So I think not only is it a great thing to have on hand if you're doing a marathon shopping trip and you want to make sure that your phone stays charged the whole way through, but it's also a great gift to give anyone. And everybody loves a little smartphone case that has a built-in battery or a little external battery for your smartphone or tablet that you can slip in your bag. Let's say you're going on an airplane and you want to make sure that you're gadget stays charged all the way through. So that's a great, great gift and, and, uh, and something great to have for yourself as well. Thanks, Carly, for helping us explore the world of home tech to help us save energy and money this new year. Thanks. According to the Energy Information Administration, the large increase in U.S. production of oil and natural gas is a significant factor behind the lower gas prices we all are enjoying. The Department of Energy estimates that every one cent drop translates to one billion dollar annual decline in gas spending by Americans. And this is great news for Florida tourism as well. Joining us this morning to share this year's State of American Energy Report is Jack Gerard, President and CEO of the American Petroleum Institute. Good morning, Jack. Good morning, Rosalie. Jack, tell us how the American Petroleum Institute represents the many aspects of America's oil and natural gas industries. Well, Rosalie, what we do is we represent all facets of the oil and gas industry from the exploration of production all the way down to the gas pump. And so as you pointed out earlier, one of the efficiencies of this industry here in the United States is we're able to produce 
uh, affordable, reliable energy. And because we've increased the supply significantly now, up to two, three million barrels a day, more than we were producing just a few years ago, it's put an oversupply in the marketplace. That's what's pushing the price of crude oil down and thus benefiting all consumers. So it's a real positive day for our consumers. What we've got to do is find that new balance, that new equal, equilibrium, if you will, between what it costs us to produce it, the benefit to consumer for a longer term stability in the marketplace. And that's what the market's going through right now as you see a little volatility in the price. But as you mentioned earlier, it's a good day for consumers frankly, as a result of that increased production that we're doing as the oil and gas industry. Gas prices are down. Do you see this trend continuing? And how long do you foresee this will last? Well, we hope in longer term it'll be a continuing trend. And what I mean by that is, based on our increased production right here at home in the United States, we become more energy secure as a nation. We rely less on outside sources for imports to fuel our domestic economy. And what's happening today is because of that significant increase is it's literally changing the world order, if you will, as it relates to who the dominant powers are in producing energy, specifically oil and natural gas. Today, the United States is the world's number one natural gas producer. No one would have thought that five years ago. We've surpassed Russia. And now we're on the verge of surpassing Saudi Arabia as the world's number one oil producer. So while that benefits consumers, there's also a broader vision here, which means the United States can not only become more energy secure, but we can, t can have the opportunity to fill markets around the world where we haven't been before. But we've got to get our public policy right to allow for the export of this energy, to allow for crude exports, to expand our liquefied natural gas exports, and it will really position the United States in a dominant role for energy production, energy providing around the world, and ultimately it should benefit consumers because the more supply we put in that market, the lower that price goes. So OPEC won't continue to subjugate the American consumer at the gas pump? Well, what you see happening today, Rosalina, it's, it's really fascinating. It's really historic time. OPEC is in a position now where I don't, I'm not sure they really know what to do today because in the past they've been able to manage, if you will, the price to some degree. Today it's a very different dynamic because the United States has now increased our production such, it really dilutes their ability to manage that price as they have in years past. So if we get it right here in the United States, we keep our foot on the throttle, so to speak, continue to produce our own energy resources, we're going to continue to change that marketplace hopefully for the benefit of all American consumers, but for the benefit of everybody in the world as we produce more affordable, reliable energy for the benefit of all. Thank you, Jack, for joining us this morning with a positive outlook on the evolving future of America's energy independence. Thank you. Life is full of investments, from parenting to home technology. Energy efficient appliances and gadgets can keep our families safe at home or on the go. Make an investment this year in your lifestyle with energy efficient technologies that you will benefit from now and into the future. Share with us how you track your energy consumption to save time, money and natural resources at facebook.com forward slash Rose Lee Show or visit us at rosaleearchershow.com. And thanks for joining us this morning, and we'll see you soon.